Question number one of this exercise says that a solid is in the shape of a cone standing on a hemisphere with both their radii being equal to 1 cm and the height of the cone is equal to its radius. We have to find the volume of the solid in terms of pi. To start with, we must first visualize how the solid will look like as it is a combination of a cone which is standing on a hemisphere. So this is how the solid will look like. And as given in the question, the radii for the hemisphere and for the cone is same, being equal to 1 cm. Then, the height of the cone can be found by making use of the information that it is equal to the radius of the cone. Now, as the radius of the cone is 1 cm, its height will also be equal to 1 cm. Now, to find the volume, of the solid form, we can find the volumes of the cone and the hemisphere and add it to get the total volume of the solid which is formed. So, we will write it as volume of solid equals volume of cone plus volume of hemisphere. Now we will write the formulas for each of these. The formula to find the volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h where r is the radius and h is the height of the cone plus 2 by 3 pi r cube which is the formula to find the volume of a hemisphere. Now as we know that the height of the cone is equal to its radius we can write it as 1 by 3 pi r square multiplied with r itself and that will give us 1 by 3 pi r cube and then we add it to 2 by 3 pi r cube. So that will then give us pi r cube plus 2 pi r cube divided by 3 and that on simplification gives us 3 pi r cube divided by 3. 3 and 3 gets cancelled. We are left with pi r cube. Now r being equal to 1, cube of 1 will be 1. So we will get the answer as pi centimeter cube as the volume of the solid form as a combination of a cone which is standing on a hemisphere. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.